Look what just came in the mail. I'm so excited. Let's set this up. All right, so let's get started here. First thing, the Hobonichi Weeks comes with this little adhesive pocket. And normally I like to put it right here in this front corner. But first I want to put down some decorative paper as a nice background. So I do have this paper pack. Um, I got it from Walmart and it has all these really cute patterns in it. But this paper is not quite tall enough to cover the entire page. So I also have this paper pack and it has just like plain grays and blacks in here as well. So I was thinking, thinking we can also use this to layer and cover up the entire page. So this is the pattern I think I wanna use on the inside front cover here. And then I think we can use a black to layer it and cover up the bottom. I think I really like that idea. So let me go ahead and cut this paper down. Let's put this bottom piece down. Let me round the corner, this edge. Okay guys, so I got the front inside cover pasted down. I have this That's not gonna work. Oh, what am I gonna do? Where's my slice tool? Okay, so I got the inside cover laid down and now I want to put my adhesive pocket down in the corner because I do like sticking photos in here of my kids my family and I like it because you could change it out you just take it out of the pocket and swap it out so let's just make sure it is straight on both sides on the bottom and on the edge. That's where it gets tricky. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have that set up now. And now we can put a little picture in here. And it's super cute and you can take it out and change it out. Okay. All right, next I wanna also lay some paper down on this spread. And then I also wanna cover up this page, the 2023 and 2025, because I will not use those. The current year, 2024, I will use, but this side I will not. So I wanna also cover this. And that's it for the front pages. So I want to get all of the paper and the patterns laid down first, and then I will arrange the stickers and the decor. For this spread, I want to use just a plain black on both sides. And then I have this vellum sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I am going to cut that down and have a vellum sheet in between here. And I just think the black with the black hearts on top. I think that looks so good. So let's cut these down.
cover this page and I don't have an idea for what I want to use for this yet. So let's take a look through the papers. So for my paper options, I can do this pattern or this pattern, or I have this holographic paper. I think this one could be fun, but I don't really know what I'm gonna do on this side. So let me sit here and think a minute what I wanna do. I do think that this one could be fun. I just cut it down. Let me see, do I like this? Do we like this? It's a little outrageous. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go ahead and do it. <laughs> And one last section that I want to cover with paper is the beginning of the notes section back here. This area. So I think I want to do these black and white dots for the top. And then I'm thinking, let's be a little crazy here and do this yellow pattern down below. I think that could be cool. And I think I want to do a ripped look and do like a ripped edge. So let's do that. Now, let's just do a little yellow edge at the bottom here. This should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, let's do that. I like this. Okay, so now let's make a ripped edge. I'm just gonna take it and rip it up, rip it down the side. Yeah, I like that. So let's stick these down. Awesome. Okay, that is the most tedious part of this process is laying down, measuring, cutting, and making sure it's all precise, but laying down all these papers. But now comes the fun part because we get to put down all of the cute decor. So, Let's get a theme going here. Let me kind of figure out what we're gonna lay down and I'll be right back. All right, I am now back. It's a little while later and it is now nighttime. So my lighting is a bit different. This is not ideal, but we're gonna make it work. I've also put on my little snuggie thing. It's not really a snuggie, but this thing. And it's super comfy and I'm cold, so. Anyways, let's let's move on here. These are the things I want to use. I made a little pile over here because I have so many things to go through. So for the cover, I do think I want to put things on the cover here. And I think on the cover, I want to do this like light pink theme because I think that goes really good with the gray. And I think that's super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put these down. And I just use any old washi tape. And I just roll it up and stick it on the back. because I like to rearrange and redecorate 
And so this makes the stickers movable in the future. You get to reuse your stickers and you can also redo your whole setup whenever you want, like for Christmas, for Halloween, just if you get bored of it. So this is how I do it. And then I also have a clear plastic cover that I will put over the cover as well. So that will kind of press these down and protect them also. All right, this is the front cover. Let me go get the clear plastic cover and put that on. Okay, so this is my old Hobonichi setup and let's just put this clear cover on it on the new one. So now this will press these stickers down and make sure they don't come off or anything. And we have protection to keep it nice and clean. So there is the front. I love that. Now when we open it up, I like to put pictures in here of like my family and my kids and stuff. So these are the ones I had. This one cracks me up. It's one of my favorite pictures. <laughs> and I love this picture as well. But I think I'm going to keep this picture in this little pocket. And then I like that also because I can always change this out also. No, I think those are super cute. I like this flower, but I'm not really like a flowery type girl. No, is that too crowded? I was also thinking of putting I want to use this one, but I feel like it's too crowded with a picture here. I don't feel like that looks right. I like these little vans and then maybe, maybe the flower. I don't think I like the way that this looks. So I'm just gonna take these off. And I think this front page, for right now anyway, because I've been messing around with different stickers and different placements and stuff, and I'm not liking how any of it is looking. So I'm just gonna keep this little sticker in this pocket right here, have my personal photo here. I'm just gonna leave it at this for right now because I wanna move on to this next little spread because I know exactly what I wanna do for this. So I already stuck this one down. I love the contrast of the bright pink and orange against the black. And then I have these really cute little pictures that I printed and cut out and I'm gonna lay these down. So I think right here I wanna do the emo forever so let's place this one. Okay. I like that. And then with these ones, I think I want to, let's see, how is this gonna work? These like barely fit in here, but I kind of like it. And maybe do this one like, like this. Yes, so let's stick these down.
Oh my gosh, I love this. So we have iced coffee equals happiness, emo forever, and then we have our little vellum sheet, and then we have still into you, emotionally unavailable and sad songs forever. Yes, I love this so much. Okay, now let's move on to our little sparkly page. And I think I wanna go with this picture on this sparkly page. And I'm thinking, hmm, that's cute and simple. I can add that in. Yeah, I think I just want to do just this and keep it simple on this page. So I'm not seeing anything else that I have in my stash that will really like go and fit and I really want to use this. So that's just what we're going to do. All right, so that is this page. And then lastly, we need to figure out something for these pages. I have no idea what I wanna do on these pages. So I have this, I think this is hilarious, <laughs> but I don't wanna put that here. What was I going to use over here? I love this one. It says, I really think the secret to being loved is to love. And the secret to being interesting is to be interested. And the secret to have others find beauty in you is to find beauty in others. And the secret to having a friend is being a friend. Be the energy you want to attract. I absolutely love that. So I think I want to use like one side of this as a sticky note dashboard to just be like, this is where all my sticky notes go. I need to find my other sticky notes, but um, one side of this I'll use for sticky notes. The other side I'm going to just keep decorated. All right, messing around a little more. I think I'm getting closer to how I like it. I think I like this side. These are sticky notes. I'll use this as a sticky note dashboard, I'm thinking. So this one says, marry me, and she's saying, okay. And then this one says, don't give up, great things take time. And it's a caterpillar looking into the mirror as a butterfly. And this is just a cute little woodland scene in a glass bottle so there's that um i really like these but they don't go with this theme i have some post-it notes here some tiny stickies that actually fit really well within the hobonichi weeks and so i'll just take some of these and put them on this little dashboard here so that they're easily accessible when I need them. Setup is looking like for now. And then in these back note pages, I already went through and kind of used some post-it notes to mark what these pages are gonna be. And so I'm gonna do my 2024 mind map, word of the year and my 2024 ins and outs, important dates and my holiday schedule, the full moon schedule, ideas for dailies, things that make me happy and family fun day ideas, home projects and backyard projects, my Bronco log and my Frankie log, Frankie is my dog, and then AM PM routines, workout schedule, and Instagram ideas. And then I'm gonna do my January dashboard, January health tracker, and January habit tracker. 
and then my January reading log and my January reading wrap up stats. So, so I need to go through in the back here and set up all of these note pages as well. These are probably going to take me a little while to do that. But for now, oh, I added him in here, <laughs> prison Mike. I pr added him in here just because I thought it was funny. But everything in this spread is removable and repositionable. So if I change my mind on anything or if I ever want to redecorate, it's super easy to do that. So that's why I do this the way that I do it. So here's the front cover. Here is what it looks like when I open it up. This was the first step in me setting up this new Hobonichi Weeks planner. Thank you for coming along with me today. I still have some work to do in here. I am not quite sure about this spread and I might change this spread up. Of course, I will show you when I do that. I need to set up all of my notes pages in the back. But for now, I have it set up pretty good and pretty close to how I like it. So I'm very, very excited about that. And then once I get my note pages done and all of these spreads are to my 100% liking, then I will do a full finished flip through of this Hobonichi Weeks for you guys. Hopefully this wasn't too long and boring. It took me a very long time to do this, but I will edit it down for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.